the bay oh man talk on it here and out there man la dog if you know you know and if you don't Thanks. you don't la's racist it's crazy dog like race is a big thing like like honestly me myself personally i'm not gonna come home and, and or i'm not gonna let my daughter come home with a black dude wow <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> just you know funny. what i'm saying and that's just the what way it the is fuck? out here it, for 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 my people and like i'm sure if a black girl came home and with a straight essay dude they're gonna be like what the fuck he's not wrong you know what i'm saying in la it, it's like that you is know, that is that what you saw bro growing up well hold on, hold on. continue let the video it, let it roll yeah. a little more if a black well, he's girl gonna talk or a black well, look, bro. Talk about your, cause I remember you. Yeah. So well, you sent this video, mm -hmm. and it gave me insight more to understanding you. Right, right. And I'll talk about my experience. Mine's different, but right. it's just. Uh, and to kind of elaborate what you're saying is that there's a there's a huge cultural difference. You know, like I, I'm I'm from the southeast of LA, so the southeast is very uh, predominant Mexican. It's a Mexican mm -hmm. culture. Um, not even like Latinos. It's it's straight Mexican. You'll probably have some Salvadorians and other people there. We're mostly Mexican. But it's mostly Mexican. So we don't see black people in mm -hmm. the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. You know, like it's if you if you do, it's they're not from the neighborhood. You know, they're lost. They're lost, or they're just passing by, type of thing. So they're trying to buy some tamales. So for him, for him to to say, like I I understand where he's coming from. Yeah, of course you're gonna mm -hmm. be like, what the fuck, like. How did this happen? And to their know? defense, that's all they know. That's all we know, bro. So, and and I and I talk. I've I've always talked about this in the in the previous podcast, bro. I had never seen a white person until I moved out of Cudahy. When I moved to Bakersfield, this was the first time I ever saw a white person. Uh, black people. It was the first time I was ever around the culture or more black people in Bakersfield. In too? Bakersfield, yeah, because Bakersfield is more like it's more diverse. Diverse, yeah. Uh, but when I was growing up in Cudahy, it was mostly it was just Mexicans. You know, so that's all. That's all I knew. What was the culture? Yeah. So it's not until you go into Compton, it's not until you go to like Inglewood or South Central where you start seeing more of a diversity. You start seeing more Latinos, more Black. That's what I was gonna say because I grew up in Koreatown, and Koreatown, funny enough, you think it'd be full of Koreans, which you definitely have your Asians in there, but you have more Latinos. You have, I would say, it's diverse. Like you'd have your Mexican, Salvadorans, Chapines, Hondureños, right, right, and then we moved to South LA, and South LA was, I would say, it was probably like. Maybe 50-50 black Latino, mm -hmm. if not maybe a little bit more black than Latino. But right. this video, I'm glad you sent that to me because it, it actually did help me like understand people from these areas better. Because to right. me, it was like, yo, how do you not know how black people's culture is? Mm -hmm. But yeah, shit, if you've never grown up with it or, right. or, or you see black people like passing by, well, you never... Right, well, not only that, because... Also, like, you know, when you're growing up there, you're being molded as well in the sense of, like, they're they're molding you in a sense where, like, black people are bad. I was just going to ask you, how, so how shit, did you, know? you, how did you view black people? Like, when you would see them, um, like, well, look, bro, what, did you see like, them as bro, ops or, like? Not as ops, bro, but just people you can't trust. Why? You know, because that's, that's what was always was told to me. Like, oh, watch out. Or, yeah, you like, know, Momoreno. Or, you know, like, the words they be using. And it's kind of like, thank you, you know, like uh, los morenos, you like, like those like, steal from you, some yeah, shit. Yeah, son, son rateros, son esto, son blah. so you kind of you're being molded yeah. and as you're growing up. You're already it's like stereotyping us. Yep, 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 yep. And so you're taking some, you're taking somebody's word that you trust and you love. That okay, he wouldn't tell me that because you know he's racist, or he's probably telling me that because something happened something to him. Happened to he's him. trying to look out for you, right? I'm not. I'm not going to say any names, but I have. I have family members that are exactly like that. Right. So look, bro. Honestly, my my mother too. My my mother was very <laughs> to this day, bro. To this my, day, my mother. To um, this day, she's not racist, but she does not like being around. No, nah, I'm people. a. I'm a. I'm Baby, a say let me it, tell the family you. and member I'm talking about. She's racist. Oh, okay. My <laughs> Ain't mother. No question about it. My mother had an experience though where. Um, they were living like in South LA at the time, and and two, she was attacked by two black males, and they they were trying to, you know, like, her? like rape her. Oh shit! So because of that, she had, you know, a fear. Of course, it was of more course, of a fear she that, that trauma as yeah. well. She was traumatized. So um, I I and it's funny though because um, 
there was a, now that I remember it was my sister Liz uh, like she was in high school there used to be a black dude that lived on our street his name was Justin we're gonna re- um, beep that out but uh, I remember my sister Liz was good friends with him and he came over to the, the house one time and my mom freaked out she freaked out where she was like oh hell don't tell me you did so what he's saying is very relatable yeah yeah Cause my mom was my mom was that person where she was like no don't don't tell me you're dating a black guy. Like, hey, no. Like, how can you do this to me? Like, blah, blah, blah. like how could you bring him here? Yeah. He knows where we live. Yeah, yeah. What's funny is that. Oh, uh, yeah. And then also on that note, too, bro. When, like, like uh, let's just say, like, um, I don't know. That I, I do recall this one time where my mom, like, there was a black person in the house. And my mom was like, hey, think we all, you know, like, think we all, like, I don't feel comfortable. I, I don't feel trust, like, right here. Like, they might rob or shit yeah. like that. So that's how I grew up. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. And funny that you bring that up because I, so me growing up in South LA, my next door neighbor, black, mm-hmm. uh, the other next door neighbor, Latinos. Mm-hmm. And again, it was, it was mixed black and Latinos, but I would bring like, shout out to my homie Keith, uh, who, who's black and, and, and Willie and all these homies that I grew up with in South LA where they'd come over to my house. Mm-hmm. And it'd be funny because the person I'm referring to, like, she so so she will talk racistly, but she knows how to behave mm-hmm. with them. And, and right. she was actually very nice, but, you yeah. know, she knew how to play that card. But anyways, I think this is really good because well, personally, I didn't really it, know this. Yeah, and, and, it, and it's really it's helping me again, not only understand, but I think right. I, now I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I think and I'm sure you'll probably agree with this, but I do think this perspective is very it's very sad slash disappointing Cause but but it goes back to what he said, bro. Like, if you know, you know, type of thing. And also, is it right? No. But that's all we know. That's and what I, I'm and saying. And I think he says that. He says that's just how it is. Yeah, but I think I think I mean, but I think once you do know that, like, you know, you're if like for him to have the awareness now that mm-hmm. hey, this is probably I'm only thinking this way because I grew up here and. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know what his experiences have been with black people, yeah. but him being a rapper, I think he's, I think I've yeah, seen no, him no. with. Yeah, I, I, I've seen him. And, so and for him to still say that now is a little bit weird, but I probably. Think, I think it's just saying, I, I think he's coming more from the perspective of like, it's just, it will throw you off initially. Sure. You know, like that's going to, that reaction that he gave is probably the same reaction he would, he would really give. Like, what the fuck? Like what, what's going on? Yeah. Which I still think is unfortunate because it's, <laughs> is cause like, let's just keep it a buck. Like, okay. Yeah. You have black thieves, you have mm-hmm. black rapists, mm-hmm. you have Mexican thieves, you have, you right, know what I'm right. saying? Like it goes both ways. So it's a little, it's a little sad that there yeah. is that thinking out there, but I do understand right. why it's like that. And I think, I think if we can, I think if we could just give each other a chance, like shit, like some black people are just like us. Right. And then some Latino, because like he said, mm-hmm. some black people feel that way towards us as well. Right. And if they could only give us a chance, like, hey, we're not all fucking. That's fair. That's you know fair. what I'm saying? Yeah. It's yeah. Just, it, 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 I would agree. I would agree. Well, here's the thing, dog. Here's the thing, too. You got to see where he's coming from. He's, he's gang affiliated and also. That plays a huge factor, bro, into the culture differences as well because you're not just judging them based on color but also, like, gang-related shit, you know? So, like, I'm listening to him, bro, and it, it, it could be just conflict off of that too. Like, Yeah, yeah, and he might be cool with it, but just because he's cool with it and the rest of his crew isn't, that mm-hmm. could still cause issues. Yeah. Let's see Let's see what else he says. Like, dog, if I go to Compton right now and I'm walking in a black neighborhood, you best believe I'm getting hit up. You know, I've never been with a black girl, but I flirted with black girls and shout out to the black. There's some beautiful black girls, but it's different. And just <laughs> LA makes it is different. Hold on, hold on, hold on. keep going. She like that, and you can't sugarcoat it and beat around the bush. I don't say the N word in none of my songs. You will never find a Lefty Gunplay song where I'm saying the N word. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Munchie B and Mariah and them in their podcast. How do you feel about that? Latino saying the N word. Like, I don't like it, but I also I know that sometimes I say it and I'm trying to push back on that but that's the bakersfield in me because in bakersfield that word was being thrown around and you were with black people nah not really bro like there was people were were calling each other yeah yeah so that's why i kind of learned that 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 lingua was more i don't like it at all that was more of a bakersfield thing i don't like it i bet i'm trying to 
erase that because I know sometimes I'd be saying it. I I don't say it as much as I used to. When I, I was in high school, I would definitely say that because I was, we would be Latinos and we would still be calling ourselves like, "Hey, what's up?" You know, right? I don't. I think it's but, weird, especially when Latinos come in hard with the N word. Mm-hmm. Like, you're not, you're not black. Right, and right. Which like, I feel like the the rap culture has kind of. It's very influential. Yeah, yes, where where that's been been applied, but like real LA culture, like East LA and all that, they don't. Like the OGs don't use that. Right, don't, right. Don't use that. I don't word. like any of these fucking I, terms. Foo, I personally I foo, think foo I say "fool" to fuck around. You know, like a hey, fool. Like it's more like a troll. I say it. Too. Yeah, same here. But I. But hate um, it. the N word, bro. He's probably coming more from a a prison because he keep in mind he was in prison. Nah, he can't use that word in, in prison. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, there's this. There's no like you said him being part of a gang and shit. Like he you, takes it more seriously. Yeah. There's more rules. Right, yeah, exactly. and them in their podcast, man, on Street TV. I was watching it earlier, four hours ago. They're like, man, we appreciate that. You know, saying that. Does it slip out sometimes with the homies? Yeah, because the homies talk like that all day. <laughs> you see, it goes back but to what I, I was saying. Is it, right. Does it uh, uh, spit it out? Yeah, because I'm an essay. I'm a Mexican. I don't talk like that. In L.A., you're not going to sell up with a black. You know what I'm saying? A black's not going to sell up with a Mexican. Shout out to the blacks because some of my most best friends have been blacks, but just... That's interesting. So it That's is interesting, interesting yeah. that he is affiliated with black people. Because you think if you hear somebody talk like that, mm-hmm. oh, this motherfucker is racist. He doesn't have any black friends. But he still has black friends and he still mm-hmm. talks like this, right. which goes to show it is a cultural. And he's got to stand with the culture. Mm-hmm. So that kudos to him. I mean, he's keeping it real. Yeah, and he's aware. It's interesting. It's, it's man, it's complicated. It's very difficult to explain. And I guess it's like you got to be from the city to really know how to move with that. You know, with, with the whole where you can thing. and where you can't, yeah, kind of. Like, I'm not gonna say it with other people. I can say it in front of Cliff because I'm cool with Cliff and we're comfortable. And I've also and he also doesn't care too, right? Right. Now, but I also one time I think I asked you, Cliff, where I was like, "Hey, yo, are you cool like with me?" Because I didn't really feel comfortable saying it like that, you know. But I know sometimes it does slip out, like when I'm, when I'm with the homies and shit, you know. But that right when you're there, with your n words. Yeah, but right <laughs> that right there, bro, comes from a. From that Bakersfield time and culture, bro, where it was like, we would say it left and right, you know? Yeah, so I guess you got to, like you said, you got to know where you can say it and where you can't. Because mm-hmm. some people are cool with it. I- I'll share a story. I would um, say it to, like, describe somebody. Hey, that N-word, you know? Hey, shout out to my boy <laughs> Jordan Tolson, if he's watching this at all. This is this is a guy that we never went to school together, but we, we linked up in, like, middle school. Long story short, Jordan, I don't know if you remember this shit, but... I was uh, I was in a bus and we were like leaving some kind of party, some bar mitzvah type shit, and you know rich kids and they had a party. We're in a bus. I say the N word. Jordan Tolson's black. He's from South Central. Mm-hmm. He's uh, you know I, I mean even now he's he's a bigger dude and yeah. I'm sitting next to him and I don't I don't know if it was a song or whatever, but like I said the N word heavy back then. <laughs> I said that shit first time ever and yeah. i'll never forget this that i got checked you got punched in the face i got punched he didn't he didn't punch me in the face thankfully he went off on my arm uh-huh. like i like i like you know pretend you're me and and i'm jordan boom 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 boom, boom like crazy uh-huh. like just body shots on my arm yeah. and and i just i just stood there and i just took it and then he and i think he ended it with like yo don't ever say that again yeah, and that shit like put me on notice. Like, oh, okay, yeah, I could <sighs> probably not. I f- I feel some type of way about that though, bro, because I feel like I feel like there's times where they people let it slide, and there's times where all of a sudden it offends them. So I'm curious to know when is it offensive? Yeah, yeah. You know? Well, yeah. To him, I you know I don't know. I mean, I couldn't I tell guess, you. Yeah, I, guess, I don't know if that's how he acted with everybody. Yeah. You know, that's not black. I yeah. mean, I hope he was consistent with hitting people's arms. Mm-hmm. But anyway, like if oh man, it actually reminds me of the day that I, we went to um, HB for my birthday. Do you remember? I got a little lit. A manager came at me. And I, I was trying to fight the manager. Was uh was your was the homie Joe yeah, there? Yeah, the homie yeah, yeah, Joe yeah, was yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Well, do you remember the 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 security guard? He was black. Okay. Do you remember? I was lit. I don't remember. I was super lit. And also, this is the thing, bro. When I'm lit, I be saying the n word. <laughs> but uh, I remember he was trying to help me. Okay. And I remember I <laughs> called him the n word. Oh hell no, bro! He could have beat my ass, but, but he, he didn't. chose not to. He, he was just cool. he walked away. Yeah, yeah. He walked away. <laughs> He he saw your lit, so yeah. I recall that where I was like, "All right, yeah, like me pasé, me pasé verga," you know. Like, I don't I remember that I part, but I, yeah, I can't be saying that shit like that. That was a fun night. 
Sí, because, señor. Because you're just with your people. You're either sureño or you're crip or blood. You know what I'm saying? Or there's no whites in there, really. It's sureño, crip or blood. And you know what I'm saying? Just it, it, it always goes up over numbers, just like, you know, the black stripping on the phone or the and da, 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 like black pro, uh Black too strong and you know Sureño it's, about prison. Like, it's just it fucks with your head and it makes you think that that's the op. There it is. See? There it is, yeah. Who's this who's this uh Caleb plan looking guy? <laughs> Let's keep it moving. But I'm with my prize out here. And that's just LA County Jail. LA County Jail segregates it so much that it makes you racist. But yeah, honestly, if my daughter, one of my family members, came home with a black dude, I'd be like what the fuck? What the fuck? Where you find this for? At? You know what I'm saying? Like, I really would be like that. Shout out to him. I never gave him no. Where'd you go? You went to the SWAT meet and find him? What the fuck? He, he definitely didn't find him in our city. That's right, for sure. right. <laughs> yeah. So he he's from he he's from San Gabriel Valley. You know that that area is more Mexican as well because it's that's, that's like El Monte, La Puente, Bal He's from Baldwin Park, Montebello. is even. Pre, uh, very dominant Mexican Hispanic people is if she brought me home to her fucking uh, family's house to 60 Crip or 40 Crip or Frosty's Hood Inglewood families and all them they're gonna be like what the fuck where you find this you know this 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 essay or this vato or this paisa it's true I mean it goes both ways bro yeah like it just is what it is but like I yeah, said it's, 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 it's deeper it, 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 this it's is a deeper shock but this is much deeper than just like regular ordinary folk mm. like me and you. This is this is some gang shit. Yeah. This is some gang shit and street shit where it's like Facts. You know, you're you're in a gang and your race is yeah. in it. Right. If you see another race, like it is you they mm. train you to view them as an op. So right. I, yeah. I can So yeah. he nailed that, bro. And that's it goes back to what I was telling you earlier, bro. Like you you're being programmed at yep. a very young yep. age. Like yep. they're not saying that's the op, but they're saying that's the op. We've been trained to view yeah. them this way. Yeah. yeah. I wonder and, how his... And I think he said it too. Like, he says, like, that's fucked up. I didn't give him a chance, but that's just the way it is. I wonder how his black friends feel about him saying this shit. He's behind curious. Bro, it goes back to what he said in the like, beginning. You know what I'm saying? If but you're I'm from LA, you know. Light, you know. Mm -hmm. Lately, I've been breaking the barrier. I think it's I much easier to, to connect with a different culture when you're not from the city. Like, again, bro, being in Bakersfield, you know, it's just like, oh, okay, cool. Like, it's... Oh, this is the norm. You yeah, know? right, right, right. When they don't have but, that bias. But when you're here, bro, it's different, bro. There's just there's a lot of like street politics, and there's just a lot. Well, like of he said, it's and people may not want to admit it, but LA is racist. Yeah. Certain parts of it where you got you got to look a certain way to fit in, and it's probably, talk a certain it's way. It's not probably like um, I don't even I don't want to use the word racist, bro. But it's just lack lack of knowledge of like real shit. Because again, we're being programmed from a young age. Be careful with this person. Blah blah blah. But we're not even giving them a chance. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Um, world, shout out to Pun in them and AD's community. So those are two big black platforms in LA. And I want to go do those platforms. And that really helped me gain a black audience. And the blacks fuck with me. And they respect me because I'm not using the N-word. You know what I'm saying? We shouldn't be using that word anyways, period. That word if you don't know what it means, it's a the tar, it's a negative words towards black people. I got no right using that word. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's out. So yeah, and I wouldn't want a black dude saying S A Vato, Vato, Vato in every song. I, <laughs> I mean, I don't know I don't know the history of the and I mean and obviously there's the N word G A and then you know yeah, G R E R. Yeah, right, right. That's, so I obviously yeah. we all know the E R. It, it's, it's it's all political, bro. It's all it's all who you're saying it to or who you're around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, if I'm around some sixty crib gang, but members, I, I'm I, not I, using the N word at all. I got to tell you, bro. Like me, just growing up more. Like I'm I'm using it way less. Like I'm sure you've probably maybe seen the difference, or I don't know even even if yeah. you paid attention that kind of stuff. But something in me is just it's not even it doesn't even want to come out of my mouth anymore. Like it was just on some hood shit, you know. Yeah. Like, Again, it's just the culture you're around. But now, you know, you, in, 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 in my community, I do hear the youngsters saying the N-word. Right. I don't right, like it. Right. And that's why I've done my best to eliminate it. Yeah. Because it puts you on your game, on your P's and Q's. I think, like you said, like music being so influential, mm -hmm. like it's yeah, so easy for you. You got them. Hispanic artists using the N word. And I got to say that, like, I fuck more with like black hip hop than I do with like mm -hmm. Mexican hip mm -hmm. hop. Would you say you feel the same way? I, it's, it's a 50 50 for 50, you. 50, yeah. I, I don't even Spanish. know, like, 
Mexican hip hop like that? Like besides Lefty's few songs, like nah. I mean, who are some artists you listen to? Right? Man, uh, uh, Money Sign Suede, Peso. There were some other cats out here, bro. Uh, old Jeezy. He's from, North, he's from North Hollywood. Yeah. Um, Peso, yeah, see, Peso's from Maywood. Guys. He's from Southeast. Money Suede was from uh, HP. I like the sound of the black hip hop well, rap more. So that's why it like resonates with me. And, and that's wrong from Mexicans to say that. But then again, some homies grew up around that type of environment yeah. and went to school with black people to each is his own. But for me, yeah, like if you grew that. up in HP, the bro, there's in LA, yeah, South Central is like down the street. It really you know? is mm -hmm. like that. From HP? Free at Huntington Park? South Central's down the street? Yeah. Okay. When you see a black person, it's like, what the fuck? Take and when you see down, a Mexican bro, person, it's like, oh, what South the Central. fuck? Bro, he's on point. Like, honestly, he, he, he and, and again, I, I understand it because I'm, I'm from LA, you know, but if somebody from outside the city is seeing this, of course, they're going to view it a certain type of way where like, oh, this fool, you know, he's tripping, but nah, it's some real shit. Because even if you grew up in Southgate, bro, Southgate is borderline Watts, so... Either you're going to go to school on, on where the Hispanic side is or you're going to go to school on, on this side. So if you go to school on this side where Watts is, now you're, you're, being, you're being exposed to black people. You're going to school with them, and they probably use a certain lingo that's going to mm -mm. um, fall on, onto you. Mm -hmm. There's not really that many black people. So when you see a black person in Baum Park, it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I swear to God, everybody be like, what the fuck? But shout out to the blacks. You don't give that black people <laughs> a chance. Shout out to the blacks. <laughs> But you know what I'm saying? But then you got them blacks that I've ran into that are black, black for real, straight Mexican killer. I understand da, 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 what you're saying. Yeah. Whatever happened with them, that happened with them. That's cool. I'm not like that. I, you know what I'm saying? Shout out, shout out to the blacks, man. I fuck with them. But yeah, that's a very hard question that I don't think will ever get solved anytime soon. Pause for a second. He got a black dude right next to him. Mm -hmm. Because that up. Unless LA he's like is just, if you Dominican. know, you know, and if you don't, you don't. But it's a beautiful struggle and we're working on it. Yeah, hey, facts, I do like facts. that answer because yeah. he's keeping it real. Mm -hmm. He's being honest about like, yo, this is where I grew up. This is what I was taught. Mm -hmm. But I still fuck with the blacks and, 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 you know, like he just ended it with. It's a we're, struggle. We're getting better. We're learning. We're working to, on it. Exactly. And I think and I think we are, bro. We got we got artists that have tried to, you know, collab, uh, collab and, and bring us together. You know, like I, it just kind of throws me back when I I think uh, Nipsey Hussle and YG made a song. I think it was fuck Donald Trump. But they like shot it in South Central LA where there was Mexicans and there was blacks and they were coming together. Uh, but like you said, man, it's a beautiful struggle, bro. And it just comes down to like just culture differences, you know. Like he just said something that I thought it was interesting. He said, like, oh, there's black, like, hey, what's up? I'm cool. But then there's black, black, black. Oh shit. Like that there's just there's there's levels to it, you know. Yeah, like there, yeah, there's yeah. there is some some There's some similarities in the culture, and then there's some that there's just they're too set, too different. They, they don't see. They don't see. They they. they, they There's just no connection. Different. There's no connection, bro. Like they're just on some other shit, you know. Yeah. And those are the those are the ones you got to be on your toes with because you just don't know what could happen. Right. Right. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. I think that's good. Let's do another one. One more. Yeah. Warren. Yeah. So man, nah, but, but shout out to Lefty for that, man. I mean, uh, bro, you know, be, being from LA and growing up in the in the southeast of LA, you don't really. Uh, I I again, bro. Like you said. We don't see black people, so when we do see one, we're like, what the fuck? Like, who's that, you know, type of shit. But um, like you said, man, it's a beautiful struggle, bro, and we're, we're, getting, we're getting better on it, and hopefully, uh, you know, we could all give each other a chance one day and actually get to know each other.